Good evening as friends, welcome to daily editorial analysis of Shankara AS Academy. Today's date is 16th April 2025. These are the two topics we are going to discuss in this video. The first topic, perils of reversing past. The second topic, genetic mapping of Indians that is Genome India project. So let us get into the discussion. Shankara AS Academy is conducting All India UPSC prelims mock test uh, in next month May. The first test on 4th, 4th May, the second test 11th May and third test on 18th May. Interested aspirants can enroll in it. Here we are going to discuss about uh, a topic that is very important. The reversing of history. How we look at history and why changing the history can be very dangerous. So this appeared in news because last month that is March 2025 there was a wave of textbook changes. Some chapters in the textbooks were removed or criticized Mughal rulers like uh, Babur and Aurangzeb. At the same time, some local rulers were glorified in the textbook. So this uh, revising of history has raised concerns about how we are choosing to present our past. So this topic is related to GS1, Indian Heritage and Culture History. Now let us discuss about this. Firstly, why history is important? Why studying history is important? See, history is not just uh, old dates and events. It helps us to understand how we view our society, culture and how countries have changed over time. So it tells us how we got here and where we are today. We can also learn from the past mistakes. For example, mistakes in governance or wars teach us how to avoid those in the future. History also shapes our identity. It helps to understand who we are and where we came from. So this helps us to connect with our tradition and culture. The past ideas and inventions also inspire new discoveries. So history pushes the inventions and discoveries forward because we don't have to reinvent the wheel again. We have to improve the technology, better manufacturing so that we have to understand and know the history and record our history for future uh, advancement of the society. So history is very important and studying and understanding history is another important thing. Sometimes history is changed not because of new facts but how we view or how we perceive the uh, history. So we may change the history or uh, adapt the history according to the current politics or ideologies. So this is called revisionism. Updating the history with the new facts or perspectives is good because we might find new archaeological evidences and may and we might update the history. For example, the Keeladi archaeological research and uh, the results from those uh, archaeological sites have updated the history. Uh, the dates have been updated, uh, the civilizational advancement have been updated. Uh, adding new facts and data to the history is a good thing. But rewriting the history, the same history, to promote the hate or division is harmful. So, updating the history is a good thing, but rewriting the history purposefully is a bad thing. So, this selective rewriting creates polarization and it divides the people rather than helping them to understand the history. When history becomes a tool for politics, it stops being a subject of learning. So, history can also become a weapon which can create hate and conflict and also a division among the society. We can also see the examples from the world history. Crusade war, uh, which is a series of religious war in medieval period. The Christian armies fought to control the Jerusalem. But the uh, region has always been home to many faiths. Christianity, Islam, uh, Judaism, etc. But the Christian countries are manipulated by uh, their leaders to fight against uh, uh, the Islamic countries for uh, capturing the Jerusalem. So the history was manipulated by their leaders for their advancement. So these uh, wars lead to centuries of fighting and deep divisions among the people. Another example is European war for religion. During 1500s and 1600s, Europe saw a series of war between Catholics and Protestants. Also Adolf Hitler who changed the story of Germany's past. So he said Germany had been humiliated after World War One, and he uh, changed the history and uh, propagated the history according to his idea and promised to bring back the last glory of Germany. So his, his false version of history led to World War II and the Holocaust. Even today we have modern day examples. Uh, the world sees the danger of using history in wrong way. For example, the Israel-Palestine conflict. Both Israelis and Palestinians claim the same land using different histories. 
so their past memories instead of helping to build peace it is leading to more wars so this is how uh, perceiving the history is very important and this might lead to many conflicts and even wars see history is a, a serious subject it should be studied carefully we must remember past mistakes so we should not repeat them but we should not try to live in the past or reverse the past philosopher george santayana said those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it so it is very dangerous to remember the past but to relieve it with hate or revenge our goal is to learn from history and not to rewrite it let the let's study history with honesty and humility and not pride and anger here we are going to discuss about the genome india project recently the primary findings of genome india project are published in the journal nature genetics so this marks a significant milestone in india scientific and public health journey so in this context we are going to discuss about this genome india project and its major findings this topic comes under gs paper 3 in mains examination under the topic of science and technology developments and their applications in everyday life this genome india project uh, is funded by department of biotechnology under ministry of science and technology this project aims to create a comprehensive catalog of genetic diversity of indian population so they are going to map the india's genome uh, india's uh, whole population genome based on 20000 individuals and research this genome india project uh, is a collaborative effort which involves 20 academic and educational institutions so they are going to leverage the genomic data for health care facilities in india the primary objective of this initiative is to understand the unique genetic variations among indian population which can be used to study and understand the genetic diseases in indian population the samples have been collected from 20000 individuals from 83 population groups out of this 83 population group 53 were non tribal communities and 30 tribal communities these samples are collected over 100 distinct geographical regions in india the blood samples and phenotypic data such as weight height and blood pressure were also collected to create the genetic mapping of indian population and uh, understanding the potential disease predisposition in order to create accurate estimation of mutation frequencies and genome unrelated individuals were chosen for the project and to study the de novo mutations is a main aim of this project which means the de novo mutation means the new mutations which are not inherited from either parent so the mutations which only appear in the children are not inherited from the parent so they are called de novo mutations Uh, this genome india project also aims to study this de novo mutation in order to understand the disease frequencies the tribal and non tribal groups such as uh, tibeto burman indo european dravidian austro asiatic are also studied and this diversity of uh, uh, groups add scientific depth to this genome india project here we have to note that there is an another uh, genome mapping project called indigen project which is a genome sequencing project conducted by council of scientific and industrial research csir so genome india project genome india project and indigen project are two separate projects which aims to understand the genetic makeup of indian population this indigen project involves a studying of uh, 1008 indians and uh, together this project aims to establish uh, indian reference genome database the significance of this uh, genomic mapping is uh, very wide globally the genomic database have uh, largely been eurocentric which means uh, more research and databases are collected only in european countries so there is limited representation from india so this genome india project aims to create a first genetic mapping of indian population which can uh, reduce this gap between the western model and indian model so this also showcase the genetic landscape of our diverse and underrepresented population also from the public health perspective this discovery is population specific mutation and this can guide the government in targeting the health intervention and policies based on the diseases so understanding the genetic makeup of population will help us to predict the diseases and uh, map the diseases in certain regions and certain communities 
frequency of diseases can be understood better. Furthermore, the identification of 130 million genetic variation can uh, further the research in this uh, genome mapping and understanding the complex diseases. With this, we have come to the end of the discussion. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to Shankaraya's Academy YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.